Hi everyone, welcome back, and I hope you're doing well. If you are like me, have moved away from Waves plugins, and want to find an alternative to the very uh, famous and very useful um, plugin MV2, in this video I'm going to demonstrate an alternative one that works, I think, personally I think it works better than MV2. Now what is MV2, you might ask? Well, let's look at that first, before we decide what the alternative is. I'm going to demonstrate this using a song from Glenn McPhee, a song called A Sailor Once More. This is the Waves MV2 plugin. That's what it looks like. Very simple. Low level, high level, and the output. And what it simply does is that by increasing the low level, it allows to amplify the quieter signals and make them louder until the signal goes above the threshold and then it's back to normal again. And you can also use the high level as down compression, but I personally don't use that. But you're quite welcome to use that as well. So how does that work? Let's have a quick look how clip gain automation works. As we can see, there are quite a part sang at the beginning, and then it gets louder. And more importantly, we have quite a part in between louder words. And we need to have consistent and level signal for the vocal. In Studio One, we can do the hard way and go into Gain Envelope, Enable. And now we can put some points. Let's just zoom in. And then we can select that and then increase that to similar to the louder level. And especially here. I'm doing very crude one, just to demonstrate so that I don't take too long. So we want that increase this way. And of course, this might be a little bit too loud and we can bring that one down. So it is a tedious um, procedure to do, but you really need to do this if you want um, a really great and upfront and powerful vocals and level. So let's have a listen before it, and then I'll enable it, and we can see how manually it's done. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes, he'll get a sea leg soon. Okay, let's turn the gain envelope on. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes He'll get a sea leg soon It's what his family needs On the day that he departed Leading to the sea In the stillness on the water And a calmness in the breeze He's following in the footsteps To build on his father's legacy Okay, so that's clip gain, automation But instead of doing that We can disable that now we use MV2 to get a very similar result. So let's have a listen. This is off. Man on land, won't for the sea. Let's turn it on. Fire in his heart, with life he believes. Let me accentuate it. Soon. It's what his family needs. Young man on land, won't for the sea. Fire in his heart. With life he believes He'll get a sea leg soon It's what his family needs As we can hear, it's much smoother and more level to the ear for the vocal for every word. So, what's the alternative for MV2 if you are moving away from waves, like me? Well, let's turn this off. Next one that I use is Voila! Two, it's Voice Optimized Leveling Amplifier by Stage T. Uh, Sonic Anomaly is um, the main developer. Now this, even though it's still available, you can download it as a VST2. It's no longer under development. And to what I have read, it's due to the fact that Steinberg, with the licensing of VST3, had made it really hard for this developer to continue develop this free plugin. 
Vola 2 is free and I will leave a link in the description where you can download it and give it a try if your DAW supports it because most newer DAWs may not be able to support it. I'm using Studio One version 5, 64-bit, and it is compatible. And let's have a listen to what this one does. It's got more option than the MV2. It's got a low-pass filter that you can use. It does have an attack mode, so we can decide how quickly we want the gate to drop as the signal comes in. And then we do have push down, so that means that's uh, compressing top down. And then we have pull up, which is the same as the low level one uh, for the MV2. So we're pulling up the quieter parts. And how quickly it recovers is sort of like the release of it. And we do have a high frequency de-emphasis as well in case we have some issues. And a graph below it's quite good because it can visually show you what's happening with your levels of your signal. So let's have a listen. Uh, I'm going to put the same level as what I normally use is plus 6 to maybe 9 dB at max. So let's start with plus 6 dB for this vocal. In recovery, minus 5 Yep, that should be fine. Or minus 6 is more relaxed as well. So it doesn't release too quickly. So let's have a listen before and then after using Vola 2. Young man on land, won't fall the sea. Fighter in his heart, with life he believes. He'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. Let's have a listen again. Young man on land, won't fall the sea. Fighter in his heart, with life he believes. He'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. On the day that he departed, made into the sea. There was stillness on the water, and a calmness in the breeze. It's following in the footsteps. As we can see on the graph, as the input signal getting louder, that means the gain is dropping back to zero again. And that's how that works. Let me accentuate a little bit more to, let's say, 12 dB. So we can actually see exactly what's happening and hear quite a bit more difference. Young man on land, won't fall the sea. Fire in his heart. With life he believes He'll get a sea leg soon It's what his family needs On the day that he departed Made into the sea There was stillness on the water And a calmness in the breeze It's following in the footsteps To build on his father's legacy The sailor was born The sailor was born I hope you heard the difference and how it works so well without any manual clip gain automation. It brought a lot of the quieter parts into the same level as the louder part, but without affecting the louder part and without affecting the vocal characteristics. I personally most likely put about 9 dB of pull-up gain and so a little bit of the emphasis because sometimes the sibilance and harsher signals might come up as you are adjusting it because the attack is at zero so it's working quite fast and um, so you can play around with the settings to see how it actually sounds make sure that you don't have any artifacts in there so for me Vola 2 is the alternative for MV2 let's compare between the two just going to put this right here and have that about 12 dB uh, 9 dB, I think I put in, uh, let's disable that one. Yep, 9 dB. And I'll swap between the two, turning them on and off while we listen. Without them. Young man on land, won't MB2. Fire in his heart, with life he believes. He'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. Off. Young man on land, won't fall the 
galaxy Fire in his heart With life he believes He'll get a sea leg soon It's what his family needs Similar pull-up settings for DB but I can actually hear a lot more of the words in the quieter parts using Volar 2. Personally, Volar 2 works better than MV2, which I have been using for many years. Let me know in the comments what you think. You think MV2 is better or Volar 2 is better for vocals, bringing up all the quiet parts? Remember, we are not doing any top-down compression. We're just doing what some people call upward compression, which I disagree. So let me show you why this is not upwards compression. This is the Dynamics VST plugin from uh, Kilohertz. It's a free plugin and it's not only downwards compression, it's also an upward compression. So let's um, have a listen. And basically what uh, you can do is with upward compression with different ratios, so anything lower than the threshold, which is this point here, is brought up in volume. But once they pass that threshold, the, there's no more gain amplification or gain reduction. Okay, so that's how upward compression works. So let's find out. Turn it on. Young man on land, this is a quiet part. Okay, I've got the threshold right on where the loud part is. Now we don't want anything uh, past that uh, loud part to be amplified. And hence why I played it so we can see that dot playing around that threshold there. And then we can increase the uh, ratio 2 to 1. So anything below the threshold will be doubled. That's like 6 dB. But remember, we are using 9 dB um, upward, in quotes, compression for MV2 and the Vola 2. Young man on land, won't fall the sea. Fire in his heart, with life he believes. He'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. Okay, technically it should be about 3 dB, uh, 3 to 1, to get very similar effect. Young man on land, won't fall the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes. I'm pretty sure you can hear what is actually happening, the difference. So I'm just going to solo and let's have a listen what the upward compression is doing. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes, he'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. Okay, a lot of artifacts there because he's bringing out so much of the quieter part that it's actually um, causing distortion and we can actually hear a lot of the background bleed and so on. Let's compare that to MV2. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes, he'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. And let's have a listen with Vola too. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes, he'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. And now with upward compression. Young man on land, won't for the sea, fire in his heart, with life he believes, he'll get a sea leg soon, it's what his family needs. So it's not upward compression as far as I can tell what MV2 and what Vola 2 are doing. I actually have the source code for Vola 2 and looking through and reading through, it's a completely different algorithm what upward compression is. Let me know what you think. If you think it is still called upwards compression, technically, yes. Let me know in the comment section. Which one do you prefer, MV2 
volatu or kilohertz dynamics using upwards compression. Well, I hope this video was informative and educational. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio, guys.